I got this wonderful couch, but uh, unfortunately it's the most uncomfortable thing you'll ever see or sit on. Careful with rooms to go and what you buy there. That's where we got these crappy couches. Um, all right, today I just want to break down some basics. I want to talk to you not about Bigfoot, about health. Uh, and, uh, you know, some of the things you could be doing. I mean, I, I hear people, all the ailments they have and some of the stuff I've had. But health care, you know, they, they coin all kinds of different ailments. I mean, that's the thing with pharmaceutical or, or any field, really. I'm in the software field. If, uh, if I have, you know, a screen, a computer interface that I can't patent, but I want it to seem special, I'll call it the power uh, magic uh, saver or whatever the hell, you know, I want to call it. And, and then put it out there that we are the only marketers of the power magic saver. You know, make you think that you can only get this value or this solution from me. But, and that's what the pharmaceutical industry does. They coin every single ailment. You know, I got nervous last night. I must be uh, suffering from nervous disorder, blah, 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 and take this drug. And hell, now, now I even hear about uh, uh, the HIV pill. That you get. I mean, it's just stupid, stupid stuff, man. People... People fall for this crap, but you know, they're like dogs, you know, training dogs, sit, sit, push your butt down, sit, sit, and they finally just sit whenever you tell them to. Anyway, so, anyway, basic things about your body, uh, most ailments are related to uh, immune system, you know, they'll call it an autoimmune disorder, basically your immune system shot. Okay, if you're having issues with asthma, you know, infections, whatever the hell, you know, any immune system, you don't need to be taking a drug. You need to be, well, I mean, you could, I'm not going to tell you what to do or prescribe anything, but when I had staph infection, everybody has staph. You have staph. Everybody has staph on their body. God gives us an oil light for every ailment we have, okay? If, if you have an ailment, that's an oil light telling you, hey, you're screwing up here okay so you need to correct here you don't need to put a patch on it with a drug you need to correct here okay i've gained weight and i'm having heart issues uh i probably need to exercise and start dieting okay and even if i weigh a lot over the long term i'll be okay all right but i probably need to start with a root cause staph infection my immune system was shot I took antibiotics after antibiotics decimated my immune system even more, which is what they want. And then most people that take two or three courses of antibiotics in a couple of years contract cancer. Why? Because your immune system gets shot. Then they can sell you more drugs for the cancer and treatment and shoot radiation at you and chemo and all that bull crap. So anyway, so I figured out, hey, everybody has staff. I got to figure this thing out. So. I figured out how to treat it, but let me get to the bottom line here. Okay, so immune system issues. I mean, you need to be drinking, everybody needs to be drinking green teas from wild, uh, you know, uh, uh, weeds, I'd recommend. I wouldn't even recommend going buying stuff in the stores. Figure out what weeds you can make teas from in your own backyard, you know. Um, here, it's about to get cold here, and a lot of the weeds die. And you might say, sorry, it got a little bit darker here, but um, you might say that uh, there's not going to be any weeds. It's going to be cold. Well, I mean, I could go get pine needles, make make teas, and vitamin C. That's your body needs vitamin C. Pine needles are rich in vitamin C, and probably more vitamin C there than the OJ you get out of the store because they boil it. Oh, they pasteurize it. They help you. Well, when they help you and keep you safe, they boil it and kill all the nutrients, mainly the vitamin C. So, and same with all plants, they grow them in nutrient deficient soil. Anyway, bottom line, immune system. You need green stuff, teas, edibles, whatever. You need to watch what you're eating. Sandwich meats are full of uh, chemicals that they put on there to kill the bacteria. Well, when that goes in your system, it decimates your flora. So you gotta be careful what you're eating. Um, 
immune system circulation. You have to you have to do some exercise and anaerobic exercise is critical. You hit you know you do something hard for thirty seconds. Might be jumping up and you know the same position. I don't know. Doing doing uh, leaps for thirty seconds and then walking just casually and, and resting for thirty seconds and then leaps for thirty seconds or whatever a bike bike hard you know stationary bike for thirty seconds and then ease up for thirty seconds and then hard and do that for twenty minutes. I do twenty minutes of bike four or five times a week. Anyway, that's just what I do. You can do what you want. I'm not prescribing anything. But circulation, your body needs circulation. If you're not circulating the oil, so to speak, the blood, you're not going to be able to filter out the toxins. Okay? And, and if you're not getting to those areas that are inflamed, infl disease lives off inflammation, cancers, everything. Even arthritis, that's inflammation in the joints, it, moisture in the joints, that's gets infected, it becomes inflamed. If you're not getting circulation to those areas, you're, you're not going to get better. Uh, those green plants will help that. Uh, they're antibacterial, antiviral, and they help knock out inflammation. That is why they're so good for you. Okay, Antiviral, antibacterial, but they're anti-inflammatory. So when you reduce the inflammation, all of a sudden, that that area is accessible now, where before it was cut off. Okay, it was inflamed. There was no path in there. Now, we took the plants, reduced the inflammation. We have a path in there, but we have to increase our circulation to get that area healthy. All right, and uh, you know, uh, nutrients and things like that. It, it, you know, I've mentioned before about uh, drinking clay in your water, going harvesting clay in your local area, and not buying that bentonite crap and um, and using any water because it has minerals key minerals that your body needs so that your body can properly absorb vitamins and things like that so anyway but hey, if you just start with the green I mean the green teas give you a lot of oh, valuable everything really and uh, you know just steeping them for about 10 minutes you don't have to boil the hell out of them um, green teas, antibacterial, antiviral, anti I mean, uh, reduces inflammation, circulation, okay? Focus on those two things. And what we uh, all also forget about is mind. You, you can't have a lot of hate in your, your body, your mind. I mean, God takes care of everything, man. He tells you to forgive, and he tells you to forgive for a reason. It's for your own good, okay? It's healthy for the other person because it's healing to them, but it's healing to your body. When you don't forgive, man, I mean, it, it, that alone, you can have a healthy body, but if you have hatred and anger and resentment in your, in your body, you can get cancer. A lot of people can try cancer when they're going through lawsuits because it's stressful, there's hatred and all that. It, it works on your, you know why it breaks down your immune system. Again, it goes back to the immune system. But again, mind, yeah, try to meditate, relax, enjoy nature, stuff like that. But it, it's so basic, so 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 basic. Everything is is very basic. But that's how I live, and yeah, you know, I seem to be able to take care of a lot of things. I still, you know, you, I'll still get sinus when it, you know, the seasons change, and inevitably, I've always gotten sinus. But I know how to deal with it naturally with natural stuff. Okay, and I don't, you know, I used to have to take blood pressure meds, um, you know, other stuff that was related to blood pressure. Don't take any of that stuff. So, exercise on that bike 20 minutes, four or five times a week, circulation, get the blood flowing through my body, remove all the toxins, you know, get heal the body with that circulation. And, um, but before, you know, I'm taking in my teas, I'm drinking my teas, reducing my inflammation. I'm drinking, I drink my poke, poke juice, my, you know, pokeberry juice, which is anti-inflammatory. Okay. Potent anti-inflammatory, high in vitamin C. That's like most plants out there. Um, God gave us a gazillion plants that we could use. It's not just one or the other. So many different plants. That's it. That basic.